YouTube, how the fuck you doing? Hey guys, Nate Shot, and today I'm bringing a brand new video, but there is going to be no gameplay today. Instead, I want to give you a good visual of the official list of all the score streaks that are going to be appearing in Black Ops 2. If you haven't been watching the live streams or keeping up on your YouTube videos, score streaks are officially replacing kill streaks in the new Black Ops title that's coming out this November. And I really just want to take a rundown of all of these so that you guys know what they are or maybe just speculate on what they can do a lot of these we have seen in past titles but either way i want to go over them and for anyone that doesn't know pro players have actually been playing this game at gamescom it's a gaming convention that's been going on in germany shark has actually been doing a live stream on twitch every single morning and really they said that these are hard to get so it's not going to be like RC cars and warthogs are going to be flying all over every second of the game. You have to play as a team. You have to play the objective if you really want to win. So let's get straight into this. You have the RCXD, which appeared in Black Ops 1. I don't need to go over that. Click a button, blows up. UAV, we've all seen it before. And this hunter killer is now an, an airplane that you throw from your hand like a paper airplane. And it automatically finds a target and kills them. So that's going to be a very interesting kill streak to see, or I'm sorry, score streak. Then you have the care package and the counter UAV. Those are all very self-explanatory. And then you have the Guardian. Now, if you watch the official Black Ops 2 multiplayer trailer reveal, you saw it. It extends like a trifold, and then it sends microwaves, uh, microwave waves, which actually heat the guy to death. So that should be a pretty interesting one. It kind of works as... Uh, a trophy system but instead of blocking stuns and nades it's firing back at you so that should be really interesting to use you have the hellstorm missile which i'm assuming is just like the predator missile i'm pretty sure i saw footage of this one in the black ops 2 pro player scrimmage that they were doing and it's a predator missile but instead you can choose to make it blow up and go different directions. So there's going to be multiple explosions in a wider area. But it's going to do less damage. But you can still do the customary one burst explosion on the ground. Just like the old Predator missile. You have the lightning strike. Uh, where you launch a coordinated lightning strike on three different locations. That's like past kill streaks that we've seen in other games. Then you have the death machine. Which is just a huge machine gun turret that you can carry around with you and fire at an extremely fast rate and just tear through people. Sentry gun, we've seen it before. War machine, I'm not exactly sure what this is. I, from the looks of it, it's a big cannon with a lot of missiles. I'm not sure if it's a tangible gun that you can use or if it is a, you know, an airstrike of some sort. But I'm pretty sure it, it looks like it's some sort of a cannon. But we'll have to find out. I'm sorry I don't have the exact details of that one. Dragonfire is one of the drones that we saw in all the reveals thus far on YouTube. Uh, I believe that you're going to be able to control it and use it as a little machine gun. It has a, a gun attached to it. So you're going to be flying around, mowing people down. You have the AGR, which is a just a tank. You're basically like in a tank, walking around, firing at bitches. Mowing people down, like I said, a lot of these kill streaks are very, or score streaks are very lethal. You have the stealth chopper, which I'm assuming is just like the the you know pavlo that we've seen in the past, or an attack helicopter. And then you have the orbital VSAT. From the looks of it, this looks like a satellite of some sort. So I'm assuming that it's going to be very similar to like a Blackbird that we saw in Black Ops One. Again, I'm not entirely sure. I'm sorry, but I, I believe it's going to have something to do with UAVs or showing people on the map. I can only assume that's what it's going to be. And then you have the escort drone, which I'm guessing drops a care package or two and uh, escorts you, you know, fires down just like we see in Ma Modern Warfare 3. Could be a little different. It might just follow you around and mow people down with no care packages involved. You never know. Then you have the Warthog. And I'm assuming from this picture and the badass name that it's a really lethal airstrike. You know, that's really what I'm taking away from it. You have the EMP systems, which just knocks down all electronical communication. Your your HUD's going to go off, just like in past games. You have this, this load star. And just by the picture of it, it's either some sort of tracking or firing system. You know, it's very far into the score streak, so I'm guessing it's going to be really good and you're going to be able to knock some people out. Then you have the VTOL Warship. Again, 
really, 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 really lethal. You're probably going to be able to fly in it and, you know, use it as a, a weapon, just like the chopper gun in Modern Warfare 2. And then you have the K9 unit, which is my all-time favorite. Just swarms of dogs going to mess people up. I love these things, man. I'm so excited that they brought these back. And then you have a swarm. Now, if you go and look, the hunter killer is the exact same thing as the swarm. Except I'm pretty sure it's just going to be a barrage of these hunter killer airplanes. Just like you saw in the multiplayer trailer reveal where there are thousands of these things just flying around. So that's going to be a really interesting thing to see with all these flying around trying to kill the opposing team. I'm pretty sure this is going to be pretty OP. I want to make sure that Treyarch nerfs it, or I'm sorry, monitors it to make sure it's not too overpowered. But either way, it is last on the list for score streaks. So maybe it should be rewarding. I hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown. Please leave a, live, leave a like and a favorite and share the video if you enjoyed it. I hope it helps you get a little more insight as to how Black Ops 2 is going to operate. I appreciate you guys watching and YouTube. We'll see you fucking later.